Hi guys, guys, and I'm Bonnie Pounds. Welcome back to Budget with Ira. In today's video, we are going to be checking in for week one of November's budget. I'm going to tell you all about how the week went at the end of the video. In today's video, we are going to be using the November budget booklet, which is an absolute stunner. There's loads of these available on my Etsy store. If you want to get your hands on them, they are Y2K, they are pastel, bestie, they're stunning. We're also finishing up with the October budget booklet because we need to deal with the 30th and the 31st. Let's get going. Okay, so we are here in the October calendar first because we still have to account for the 30th and the 31st. Let's start on the 30th. So on the Sunday, I went to the co-op and I spent £2.30. I think that was just a single Red Bull, I think. And then the Monday was a no spend. So we are done with the October spread. Let's go ahead and move into November. Okay, this is nice, isn't it? It's nice and different, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna start on the first, and as we know, the first is always a really, really big day, so we might end up spilling into this day, but it's not a worry. So on the first, rent came out, and that was 550 pounds. My car came out, and it was 121.67. TV license came out, and it was, it was actually 12 pound 47, which is, it's usually like 13 pounds. Not sure why, I'm just gonna allow it be what it is. Council tax was 175 pounds. Gas and electric was 25.60, and I assume that's the end of like the government thing. Um, or we've used quite a lot of energy, I don't know. It is what it is. We budgeted 90, so it's fine. And I went to the co-op and I spent 11 pounds 75 out of my spending money. On the Wednesday, I paid off my final debt and I paid $652.69 to Student Loan Company, so that's all gone now. And as a celebration to treat myself, I put £23 of petrol in my tank. <laughs> so on the Thursday, I had quite a busy day. So the first thing, we went to Home Bargains and I did an unbudget spend. It's been a long time since I did an unbudget spend, but I just paid off my debt, so I'm okay with that. So I bought myself a pink Power Ranger that was £5.99, and that is in last, like the most recent vlog. So if you want to see that, she's there. While we were at Home Bargains, we did some household spending. So that was 24.23. Then we went to Tesco and we did grocery shopping and our groceries come up to 65.54 and that was with our new budget. I spent three pounds from my personal spending money. I did that Pepsi Max deal. I'm, I'm a sucker for it, bestie, I'm a sucker for it. And I also did a household spend, but I can't fit that in there. So I'm just gonna move that into the Wednesday. So that was at Tesco's as well. And that was 10 pounds 75. The Friday was a no spend day. And on the Saturday, pet insurance came out and it was 15.92 as expected. So we are done with the calendar. Like it's a, a full, like the first week of any month is always super, super full. So I don't let it like distract me or get me upset or anything like that. But we are now moving in to the check-in in this stunning booklet. And we're gonna go ahead and check in for week one. So let's get going, besties. Okay, so I'm gonna start by filling in everything that I know. So starting with spending, last week I stuffed 19 pounds, that's how much I gave myself, and altogether I spent 17 pounds and five, which left me with one pound 95. For groceries, we stuffed 66 pounds, so we had 70, and then we did four pounds in the wildcard challenge, and I actually spent 65, 54. We are very good at getting it up to the line again, but as much as we can. And that left me with 46 pence. For petrol, we stuffed 23 pounds and I spent the full 23 pounds, which left me with zero. For household, we didn't stuff anything, but we had 50 pounds at the start of the month as part of the budget. And last week we spent 34.98. We got a lot and we needed a lot. So uh, that's all good. So that left me with 15 pounds and two. And then front budgeted, we never budget anything and we never stuff anything for it, but I did have an unbudgeted spend, which was 5.99. 
um, which is a rollover of negative 599. But I'm not gonna do anything with that. I'm just gonna like have it come out of my buffer. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So anyway, last week we stuffed 108 pounds and we also had 50 pounds from the household. And last week we spent 146.56. Now normally I'd roll over the whole of household but like the 2p doesn't really do anything for me so i'm just going to roll over 15 pounds and that's the check-in done so what i want to do now is go ahead and deal with the change that i've got and make sure i'm doing something with that okay so we are here with the she's on a budget penny saving challenge we've also got my envelopes from last week so we've got this from spending which i'm going to remove petrol was empty uh, we've got this from groceries. Did I just open it? Yeah. And then we're going to take the 2p from this because we're only going to roll over the 15. So yeah, that's ready to cash stuff uh, for next week, which we're going to do later on in the video. So what have we got? We've got one pound, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, two pounds, 43, two pound 43. Here she is. Look at that. So this is the She's on a Budget uh, Penny Challenge, which is lovely, but I am going to step into something new next year. Let's go ahead and put this in the adventure jar. Okay, so we are back in the budget. I really, really like to come back to the Paycheck Bill Tracker every single time that I check in with my budget to make sure that I'm on track and where I need to be. Because sometimes you can start spending money without actually realizing that it's getting away from you. So it's important to me to do this. So let's go over to bills. So rent did come out and it was 550 pounds. Car was 121. 67 so slightly more but that happens like every month anyway uh tv license was weird as well it was 12 pound 47 so it was less oh this is wobbling so much council tax was bob on and it was 175 and gas and electric we knew was going to be weird and it was 75 60 and pet insurance was exactly as it needed to be. So it's 15.92. Just having a quick scan. Nothing else came out, so we're in a good place. So really all we need to do now is go ahead and cash stuff for next week. Okay, so I've got both my binders. This one is for my sinking funds and we will do this over here. And then we have the weekly sort of normal ones here. So what we're looking at is groceries, petrol and spending. And then we also need the third binder. <laughs> I didn't, okay, I didn't anticipate it was going to be this many blinking binders. So yeah, we are going to need all three of these for this little check-in. So I guess the right thing to do is to start off with, groceries I'm just gonna put this here here there right okay we're in a good place so groceries is 70 pounds uh, that we have every week so uh, 20 50 okay so we've got that so what should we have left over uh, if there's three weeks left no there'll be four three weeks left so three times 70 no three times 70 equals should have 210 Right, two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, ninety, two hundred and ten. Perfect. So we've got seventy pounds for this week. However, before we stuff that, uh, what we want to do is we want to go into my. Oh, that came straight to it. So this is my savings challenge binder, and this is one of my savings challenges that's available on my Etsy store. So this is the wildcard challenge. When you buy this challenge, you get loads of multicolored playing cards, and they're absolutely beautiful. But there are some missing because I've already picked some. So you get a suit of cards, and here they are in beautiful, beautiful colors. So we've got some missing colors here because I picked different cards. So what I'm going to do is every week I'm going to try and shuffle better because I had comments last week to say that I'm a rubbish shuffler. <laughs> I don't, you know, you're not wrong. But um, every single week I will be picking a card at random and whatever that card is, I will be saving. And that goes towards a holiday, a joint holiday for Jake and I Christmas next year or going towards it at least. So I'm going to split the card, the deck. Oh, and here we're going to save nine pounds. 
brilliant okay oh no no so i'm going to put this card aside and uh, so that i don't pick it again and then i'm going to put these in the back so let's get nine pounds and let's get sorted if i give it a 10 it'll give me a pound back no nope. if i give it a 10 it'll give me a pound back Right, I'm doing all right with this. Okay, so there's not many more to go. So for next week, I have got 20, 40, 60, one pounds. And considering we did like grocery shopping on 66 last week and it was very comfortable. I'm not going to lie, it was very comfortable. Um, I'm quite happy with 61 pounds. So that is groceries done. So let's move over. So the next one is going to be petrol. So petrol works very similarly. So petrol is 30 pounds and then it should have 90 pounds left over. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So that's 90 pounds for the next three weeks of this month. Um, but before we stuff anything into petrol, let's move over to our petrol saving challenge. And this is my pastel dice challenge that's available on my Etsy store. When you buy it, you get a pastel 10 sided dice and it is absolutely stunning. There's loads of different colors available. Uh, there's even like a pumpkin Halloween version, but obviously I've gone for the standard pink because it is a beaut. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna roll this every single time that I go to stuff my petrol money. Whatever it says, I will save and the rest I will just put in my tank. So should we go ahead and do it? Let's go besties. Two. I mean, <laughs> have I got eight pounds in here? I think I have. One, two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay. The only reason why I don't like this is because the petrol savings challenge, the petrol envelope, sorry. So I've got 28 pounds for petrol this week. The petrol envelope is the only one that isn't a zipper. So I don't like putting like that many coins in here, but I guess I'll sort of have to. Oh, I'm gonna break this envelope if I carry on like this. I need to change this to a zipper. Okay, that's done and dusted. And then moving back, we are going to spending. So spending is exactly the same, but it's a different challenge. So spending is 30 pounds. And I give myself, no, and I should have 90. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So that's 90 for the next three weeks in spending. Okay, and then we are rolling over to the 1050 challenge that is available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get a 20 sided dice. And this one works exactly the same as the pastel dice, but it has 20 sides. So I could be saving up to 20, which would be quite tough. It, it does make it really, really tough. And um, there are so many colors of this available on my Etsy store. Like this one's the beauty. It's a tried and trusted. It really, really sells really, really well. So let's roll this and see how much we're saving out of our spending money this week. I hope it's a low number. I really do. 20. Um, that's not a low number. However, I believe I rolled all the 20s, so I'm gonna re-roll that. <laughs> that's the beauty, I've done all the 20s. I've gone through all the hardship. Watch this be a 19. Oh, that's gone off screen. Sorry, I'll do that again. 14, it was literally rolled a 14 over there and went for a 14 here. That's brilliant. Okay, right, I need change. So I've got my change and it was 14, wasn't it? So let's go ahead and put these in. No, oh, what have I done? I need to take two tens now. <laughs> I am not with it today with money. Right, two tens makes a 20. Put that in. So now I've still got 30 pounds, lovely. So now I can put 14 pounds in. Oh, well, there's a five in coins that I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave that. Right, so for spending this week, I have got 16 pounds. Jeez, I do know how to confuse myself, don't I? So let's stuff that in here. Let's move that up here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Right, so that's 16 pounds. Oh, so that is all the stuff of the week. So thank you so much for being with me. So this is my little binder, which I'm gonna take out with me. 
This is my standard binder that is available from uh, So Personal is Perfect and there is a code linked in the description for this one. And this is my standard savings challenge binder that is available on my Etsy store. So thank you so much for being here with me this week. I really appreciate it, besties. Hi guys, gals and on Bypass, thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. So in today's video, I casually mentioned that I am now debt free, which I know is a big deal. It is a really big deal, but for me, it it was just like a matter of fact thing. It wasn't really, it didn't necessarily seem something for me to celebrate because I've been working so hard at this for so long and in the nicest possible way, it was so calculated. Like I knew how much money that I was gonna put towards my debt each and every month. So it was just a matter of fact, it was going to happen and I think that for me in my head, it was the most sensible thing. So I think I am gonna try and do something in terms of a bit of a celebration and something to treat myself. But really, like, uh, let's be frank, I've just put every penny that I have into paying off my debt. So even if I did wanna do a bit of celebration, I don't really have the money for it. So yeah, there is that. But at the same time, I am going on holiday in like a month. So, <laughs> I mean, I suppose that celebration, that's time to do it. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. I do wanna say a huge thank you to everybody who has been a part of my journey up until now, because a year and a half ago, two years ago, like it was about a year and a half ago, um, when I started this channel, I was up to my eyeballs. I was trying to act like I knew what I was doing with my money and let's be honest, I really had no idea, but I stumbled through it, I listened to your advice, I, you know, shared my journey and it's helped people, but more than anything, you guys, guys, and all my pals have really, really helped me and I don't think I could have done this without you and I wanna say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much and thank you so much to everybody who has been a part of my journey, even if you only joined yesterday. It truly, I, I can't, I, I don't think, I can't articulate, but I also just can't really fathom how much it means to me, like, it's just a lot and I just wanna say thank you so much to everybody who is joining me, has joined me and all the new people that haven't joined me yet and they're going to because we're starting a new journey. We're gonna be buying a house. So yeah, I'm so excited. Like when I started this journey, I did not think that paying down debt would have been possible for me. But now the unthinkable has happened. So what, what can't I do? I can buy a house by myself, surely. So I am at the end of the video. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you just so much. I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye, bestie.